Everyday English, learn to share personal information easily. What is your name? My name is Fiona. How old are you? I am 35 years old. Where are you from? I am from France. What is your job? I am a doctor. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have one brother. Where do you live? I live in Paris. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is white. When is your birthday? My birthday is on May 5th. What languages do you speak? I speak English and Turkish. What is your phone number? My phone number is 923-453-7890. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have a cat. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is pizza. Are you married? No, I am single. What are your hobbies? I like reading and hiking. What is your email address? My email address is fiona at example.com. Where did you go to school? I went to school in Paris. What is your mother's name? My mother's name is Linda. Do you like to travel? Yes, I love traveling. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is The Great Adventure. I hope these examples are useful for your English learning. Thanks for watching. From Elementary to University, A Student's Journey with Oscar and Emma What subjects does Oscar like in elementary school? Oscar enjoys math and science classes. Where does Emma study? Emma studies at a high school in London. Which university is famous in the United States? Harvard University is very famous in the U.S. What does Oscar need for his art class? He needs paints and brushes for his art class. How often does Emma go to the library? Emma goes to the library twice a week. What does a typical day at college include? It includes lectures, seminars, and sometimes lab sessions. What sports does Oscar play at school? Oscar plays football and basketball at school. How does Emma travel to school? Emma takes the bus to school every day. What is Oscar's favorite part of the school day? His favorite part is the lunch break with friends. Does Emma have any exams this term? Yes, Emma has three exams at the end of the term. What does Oscar want to study at university? Oscar wants to study engineering at university. Where is the biggest university campus in Europe? The University of Paris has a very large campus. What clubs does Emma participate in at school? Emma is in the drama club and the science club. How does Oscar do his homework? Oscar usually does his homework in his study room. What's the best way to learn English, according to Emma? Emma thinks practicing speaking and reading every day is best. Why is Oscar excited about the school trip? He's excited because they are visiting a science museum. What subjects are required in high school in the UK? English, math, and science are required subjects. What kind of accommodation do students prefer in college? Many students prefer to stay in dormitories on campus. How does Emma get good grades? Emma studies regularly and attends all her classes. What extracurricular activities are popular in American universities? Sports, music, and debate clubs are quite popular. Where does Oscar buy his school supplies? He buys his school supplies from a store near his house. How does Emma handle stress during exams? Emma handles stress by doing yoga and taking breaks. What makes a good teacher, 
in Oscar's opinion, Oscar thinks a good teacher is patient and knowledgeable. Why is learning a second language important? It's important for communication in our global society. What are Oscar's plans after high school? Oscar plans to go to college and study architecture. How does Emma remember all her assignments? Emma keeps a planner to track all her assignments. Why do students wear uniforms in some schools? Uniforms create a sense of equality and discipline. What's the best way to make friends at a new school? Joining clubs and participating in activities helps. How long is a university degree in the UK? Most university degrees in the UK are three years long. What advice does Emma have for new students? Emma advises them to be organized and proactive. Grocery shopping essentials. What you need to know what does Albert need to buy from the grocery store? Albert needs to buy milk, bread, and eggs from the grocery store. How many apples did Fiona buy? Fiona bought five apples. Where can you find cereal in the supermarket? You can find cereal in the breakfast aisle of the supermarket. Did Albert use a shopping cart or a basket? Albert used a shopping cart for his groceries. What kind of cheese does Fiona prefer? Fiona prefers cheddar cheese. Is the supermarket open on Sundays? Yes, the supermarket is open on Sundays. How much does a kilogram of bananas cost? A kilogram of bananas costs $2. Does Albert buy organic vegetables? Yes, Albert usually buys organic vegetables. What time does the supermarket close? The supermarket closes at 9 p.m. Did Fiona find a discount on pasta? Yes, Fiona found a discount on pasta. Where is the nearest supermarket in London? The nearest supermarket in London is on High Street. Does Albert prefer paper or plastic bags? Albert prefers paper bags. How do you say, shopping list, in English? You say, shopping list, the same in English. What is Fiona's favorite snack? Fiona's favorite snack is yogurt with granola. How often does Albert go grocery shopping? Albert goes grocery shopping once a week. What is the best selling item in the supermarket? The best selling item in the supermarket is bottled water. Why does Fiona buy frozen vegetables? Fiona buys frozen vegetables because they last longer. Can you find rice in the international food section? Yes, you can find rice in the international food section. Does Albert prefer to pay with cash or card? Albert prefers to pay with a card. How many eggs are in a dozen? There are 12 eggs in a dozen. I hope these examples are useful for your English learning. Thanks for Essential English for Airport Journeys Quick Guide Where is the Check-in Desk? The check-in desk is near the main door. How do I find my gate? Look at the big screen for your flight number and gate. Is there a place to eat? Yes, there is a food court on the second floor. What time is boarding? Boarding starts 30 minutes before the flight. Where is the restroom? The restroom is next to the gift shop. Sheldon, did you bring your passport? Yes. Penny, it's in my bag. Penny. How many bags do we have? We have two bags, Sheldon. Can I buy water here? Yes, you can buy water at the convenience store. What is the flight time? The flight time is three hours. How do I put on the seat belt? You click the two parts together. Where can I find a taxi? Taxis are outside the arrivals area. Do I need to turn off my phone? Yes during takeoff and landing. Is the flight full? No, there are a few empty seats. Can I see your ticket, please? Sure, here is my ticket. Where can I charge my phone? You can charge it near the waiting area. How do I use the in-flight entertainment? 
Use the remote in the armrest. Can I get a blanket? Yes. Just ask the flight attendant. What is the baggage claim number? It's on your ticket. Where can I smoke? You can't smoke in the airport. Where is customs? Customs is after baggage claim. Is Wi-Fi free? Yes, for one hour. Can I change my seat? Ask the flight attendant for help. Are we there yet? No, 30 more minutes. Where is the emergency exit? Look for the green sign. Can I get a window seat? You have to check at the desk. Sheldon, did you lock the car? Yes. Penny, I did. Penny, is your seat belt on? Yes, Sheldon, it's on. How do I call a flight attendant? Press the button overhead. Where is lost and found? It's near the information desk. Can I bring my pet? You have to check the airline's policy. Thanks for watching.